Today's Bible study is titled Crown of Rejoicing. Having concluded in our last session that the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery and the liberty that we have therein may invoke opposition from the very ones from whom we might expect support, today we continue. But we, brethren, being taken from you for a short time in presence, not in heart, endeavored the more abundantly to see your face with great desire. Wherefore we would have come unto you, even I Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. For what is our hope, or joy, or crown of rejoicing? Are not even ye in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? For ye are our glory and joy. 1 Thessalonians 2 verses 17 to 20 KJV A short passage and observations, today, but with long-term implications. Let's take a look. With Paul's comments regarding how he feels toward the Thessalonian believers, their importance to him, and his great desire to see them again, it begs the question of how the Bible student-turned-teacher considers those who allow him the privilege of teaching. Paul asks the question for what is our hope, or joy, or crown of rejoicing? And the answer, of course, is the Thessalonian believers being in the presence of the Lord at his coming. Looking further, as to his hope and joy, this speaks of his motivation and gain in this life. But the crown of rejoicing is another matter as this pertains to accomplishment, honor, and reward. Paul later writes, And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible, 1 Corinthians 9 verse 25. And much later, Paul would write regarding the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the mystery, whom we preach, warning every man, and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus, Colossians 1 verse 28. The Thessalonian believers were Paul's spiritual children, and as children are the crown of old men, Proverbs 17 verse 6, similarly those with whom we share the gospel of grace and or teach the truths of the rightly divided word post-salvation, are a spiritual crown of rejoicing in, from our Lord. Believer, share, teach Christ for an incorruptible crown. Thank you for listening to today's study. God bless you.